Bună ziua, bine ați venit! Suntem la conferința de presă înaintea meciului cu Politehnica Iași de mâine seară de pe Arena Națională, primul meci pe arenă de la startul sezonului. O să-i dau cuvântul domnului Elia Saralambus, după care, dacă aveți întrebări, vă stă la dispoziție cu plăcere. Este? Este bună seara! Um, again, we go back to our, the championship games. Um, we will face a good team. We saw that they created problems to many teams. They won um, away with Farul, so it will not be easy. We have to be uh, concentrated, focused, and uh, this is the only way we have to give our rhythm in the game uh, to show our best uh, quality tomorrow. Because, as I say, in all the games, if we are not in our top quality, we will have problems. But I believe on my players, uh, we believe on the quality they have, and I believe that everything depends on us. And if we show our good performance, I believe that we will take the three points that are very important for us for the rest of the season. How do you motivate the players after the determination? The determination is uh, finished. Uh, it was a game. We knew that we were two teams. One could pass. Unfortunately, it was not us, but this is done. Now we will focus on the championship that we started very well this season. And um, we don't have to see what happened before. Now we see forward and uh, this is all. Uh, very good. I see my future of the team very good. We started the championship, uh, I think, in the best way the last years. I don't remember, and as I know, Fetcher Sebe didn't start that, that well the championship the last years. Uh, we made four wins in four games. And uh, I believe it was a perfect start. We couldn't make a better start, I believe, in a season. And uh, I believe I trust my players. I believe a lot on them. And they showed that uh, uh, they're a good squad. Uh, we are a family in the Baza here. So I believe a lot in the future of the team. Some players, some important players. Who would you say Look, this is not on my hand, you know, uh, it's uh, if the club and the owner has offers to sell some players and he believes it's the best for the club, for sure he knows better than us, he takes the best decision for the club, so uh, I'm sure that uh, from these transfers he managed to get some money that uh, will help the club also, and uh, this is football, this is football. And now we will see if we we'll bring some players in. If not, we will see. But Sorry? Are you afraid that you could lose in the future, in the near future? Look, now it's no time to think uh, what will happen in the future. It's something that we don't know. Now, tomorrow we have a game. We are focused on the game tomorrow and uh, we cannot think too much about this. Uh, how will be for you as a coach without Corde? Okay, Andrea was uh, an important player for the team, good player, but uh, I told you before, uh, the club had a good offer. He had a very good offer, as I know, so uh, the club wanted to help the player. Uh, I mean, not to reduce the offer, they want to help him. And uh, also for the club was a win also. So this is football, this, this is the life in football. and. Uh, If uh, these kind of uh, transfers appear, uh, it's something that we have to adapt with. After the elimination, there were some rumors about you, about Pintele, that you are here, um, are going to leave the team. How is this? How are these rumors? Are they true, or what happened here with the team? That we wanted to leave the team. Pintele, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, as I know, I heard also some rumors, but. Uh, I was not informed by Bindi. Uh, we speak every day, so maybe it was uh, a discussion they had, and uh, nothing, uh, I mean, uh, nothing exists. Bindi is in the dressing room now. We are ready to make the training, so nothing exists. Maybe some emotions or something, but. Uh, what? What did you speak with Pindili about this? Uh, we, we took it very light. We didn't. Uh, We didn't speak something, I mean, uh, the only thing that uh, I was impressed with, like, okay, the team started very well the season, 
we couldn't, especially in the championship, we couldn't do uh, anything more. We did the best until now we could. And um, I think our work has to be appreciated a bit more, you know, because I hear left and right and it sounds like uh, we did everything but, no. I believe we made many good things. For sure we are not God to make everything perfect. For sure we have things to improve. And uh, we believe the way we are working is the best. And we will keep on working with this way. And um, if we make some mistakes, for sure, mistakes are in football. Nobody is perfect. But we also try to improve every day. And uh, I told you that this is the life, this is football, and we continue to work in the best way we think that we are working. And I repeat again, the team is doing very well. We are, OK, today, with two games less, we are in the second position. But until now, we made four in four. So we have to appreciate sometimes the things better. Do you think one of the critics uh, was the owner himself after this game? Because he criticized your changes, your tactics. How did you perceive this? OK, comments? it's normal. The owner, uh, uh, he has his emotions. He has his, ide his ideas, how he thinks. Uh, I told you, we are not perfect. We make mistakes. We make mistakes. And, uh, but how do you feel when he criticizes? I'm, I'm used to this criticism. If, if you are not strong to take these uh, criticisms, it means that you cannot be in a big team. So in all my life, I had this, uh, uh, this criticism from people and from fans many times. But um, I believe, I repeat once, one more, that I believe that our job has to appreciate it a bit more. I think we made, by everybody, by everybody, because until now we made, uh, I believe, very good. We made games, six wins, if I don't make mistakes, six wins, one draw, and one lose from a team that I believe they might be the champion in Denmark, high level team, that you will see in the future that they will sell many players with millions of euros, and this I'm sure of. And I believe that is not a big. Uh, it was not something like uh, that we have to destroy everything that we did until now with only one lose in eight games. But Despite... Think, uh, he said that you don't listen anymore. Sorry? You change it because he said, your owner said that, uh, about you that you, you don't listen anymore about him. We don't listen? Listen. To what to listen? Listen about, uh, about what he said, the changes, the... I don't know. Okay, I don't want to speak about these things, you know, the owner, okay, I told you, he has emotions, uh, he says some things, but I don't want to give, tomorrow we have a game and uh, we have to be focused on what is our target. The target is to train the players, to play in the pitch, and I believe the rest, I don't want to speak about the rest. In one of the... In one of the complaints, the owner said uh, about refers to the training. He's not uh, thanked for uh, the trainings. You feel, uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, Are there improvements to be made in trainings? Trainings. I told you before that um, for the team to be here at this moment, it means we did something very small good. So. Maybe we did something also good, not only bad things. So uh, we believe that the way we are working and the way we are training is the best. Maybe for some uh, other coaches or some uh, other uh, people, it's not the best way. But this is, we have our way of working. And we believe that with this way, we are doing well. And I repeat again, it's not because in football you lose one game. We have to destroy everything. In this moment. What do you think? As you see the team. In the championship, championship it's, yes. okay. it's okay. Yes, and in Europe? It's not okay because you are not there. <laughs> and we made one, one loss. In three games, one loss. So it was a 50 50 game. So if we lost one game, so if we lose another game, what will happen? It, we are the worst? No, but everybody compares the situation to the Not for us, for your own. No, you ask the question. Yes. Not the, now you ask the question, not but the owner. Gigi Becali. Yes, but I said before about GD, but now I answer your question. 
How did you feel when you heard that uh, your owner, Gigi Pekali, you said <coughs> that he gambled? I, I hear it from you now. I didn't hear this. I have no idea about this. M maybe because I don't read too much, but what he said about he? He loses uh, 2,000 uh, euros b uh, on your victory. On uh, your defeat in Denmark. Ah, he because he was gambling. He said that. Maybe he was joking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go in this kind of situation, discussions, because I believe it's... We have nothing to win from these kind of discussions, and I believe he was joking. Um, I don't believe that, you know, you know the owner also that he likes uh, to joke as well, so and if, but I if take it as a joke. But if it is the truth that he bet on uh, his team, uh, that means he risk to be suspended or... Uh, it's not my job to speak about this. It's not my job. has a lot of experience and maybe it wasn't the time to, to do that. Uh, look, uh, about red cards or you ask me, not you personally, I mean many people ask me about the penalty kicks, about, uh, you know, if somebody loses, it's football. You know, in football anything ha can happen. Football is a game of mistakes, I repeat. So, and uh, Kiri is, as you said, an experienced player and for sure. He was also, uh, upset after the game, but this is football. Football is a game of mistakes. If you don't try, you will not make mistakes. So this is the life. What is Balutza's situation? Uh, Balutza will be out. He will be out for tomorrow's game. Uh, he felt uh, the last training in Denmark, he twisted his ankle and he will be out. We'll see, I mean, we are not sure about the time that he will be out. But it's good for him, everybody is fit? Yes, okay. the rest of the players are fit, yes. Is also Valikresu leaving the, the team? Uh, and until now we were speaking, we don't have something official. Today he's a player of us, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's the next day, another day. <laughs> How is it going to be the match? Yes, the, uh, the game against Yash. Yeah, I told you before that. Uh, all the games are hard, you know, all the games are hard and uh, Yashi showed that it's a team that uh, they went in Farul and they won there, so it would not be easy, Krajowa. but, sorry? With Krajowa also. With Krajowa they lost, no? Yes. Yes, yes. After uh, the red card. Yeah, 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 they showed, they, they showed that they have a good team and all the games, all the games uh, in the league are, are difficult and uh, I repeat, the most important is what we, what we do in the pitch. And uh, if my players uh, do what they have to do, I think we'll win the game. But are you feeling it's especially important uh, in this title race to win? Because these are not derbies, not uh, important matches with uh, such big clubs. And usually championships are won with smaller teams. I agree. I agree because in the derbies, uh, the players are motivated uh, by themselves, you know, only from the atmosphere and everything. But uh, now in these kind of games, for me, they are, uh, for, a, for a team to make a championship uh, year, these games are the most important. And in these games, we have to be more focused uh, than ever. Okay, thank you.